Whenever we are making a measurement or we are expressing a measured number, we always have to include a unit with our numerical value. For example, if you asked me how far it was from my house to the college, I wouldn't just say two, I would say two miles. We have to have that unit, miles, that gives some context to the numerical value that we're reporting. As a, a scientist or a science student living in America, you have to be familiar with three different systems of units that are used to express measurements. The US customary system, the metric system, and the SI system. So let's start by talking about US customary and the metric system. The US customary system and the metric system are systems of units of measurement that are used in countries. So these would be systems that are adapted by various, various countries. The SI system of measurement, in contrast, is the system of, of measurement, system of units that is adopted by the scientific community. So this is used by scientists. And this is a system, the SI system, is used by scientists around the world, regardless of what country they might live in. There's a lot of similarity between the metric system and the SI system, so students often get a little bit confused about how they are different because there's not a lot of obvious differences between them. But the fundamental difference is that the metric system is something that is recognized by individual countries, whereas the SI system is something that's recognized by a, an academic discipline and not associated with countries. So as, as far as what all of these different um, units or systems of units represent. The US customary is one that, of course, you're very familiar with. This is the system of measurement units that we use in everyday general American society. For example, we express our distances in miles or if we're talking about a smaller distance like the height of a person, we would use feet or something like inches. We express our masses in pounds or ounces if it's smaller. Um, we express our volume in gallons or ounces or quarts or cups or something like that. So this is, this is the system of measurement that we use to express everyday things in the United States, temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. The metric system is used by most of the countries around the world. In fact, there's there's fewer than 10 countries that don't use the metric system. So most most countries do use it. The metric system expresses distances in things like kilometers or centimeters. Um, they express volume in liters. They express masses in grams or kilograms. Temperature is in degrees Celsius, things like that. And in science, because there is so much overlap between the metric and SI system, when we are making measurements in science, we a lot of times will default ourselves to the metric system because the conversion back and forth between metric and SI is very simple and straightforward, whereas the conversion between US customary and SI is a little bit more clunky. So um, most of the time in the science classroom, the US customary system is just not used at all. We just do not use it. So our temperature, our, excuse me, our thermometers will be measuring in degrees Celsius. Our balances or scales will be, will be weighing in grams, not in pounds or ounces. Let's talk in this video a little bit more about the SI system. And then in a separate video, we're going to focus on the metric system. And as probably I've implied, the US customary system, we're not gonna deal with that at all. Like this is the end of our conversation about US customary system. So let's talk about SI. SI stands for international system, but in French, system international, but you have to say that with a French accent, which I, I can't do. Um, so that it stands for the international system of units, which makes sense because I said that this is something that's used by all scientists around the globe. The SI 
recognizes a series of, I want to say about seven base units. In chemistry, we really rely on only five base units for uh, in the SI system. In the SI system, our length is always expressed uh, in terms of the meter. The meter is abbreviated with a lowercase m. Our mass is always expressed in units of kilogram. And the abbreviation for kilogram is abbreviated lowercase k, lowercase g. Now, just to clarify, in the SI system, the base unit of mass is not gram, it's kilogram. Um, and this is one of the ways that SI and metric are different from each other. The base unit or standard unit of time in the SI system is the second which we technically abbreviate with a lowercase s, but sometimes you see it sec. The unit for temperature is the Kelvin. This is named after a person, so that's a capital K, and its abbreviation is a capital K. And that's another way that um, SI and metric different are different from each other because the metric system use, uses Celsius for their temperature measurement. And then last, the quantity. So if we're counting something like how many cats live in my house, the unit of quantity is the mole, which is abbreviated M-O-L. That's a real time saver. Um, so these are, like I said, there's, there's about seven or maybe eight SI base units, but in chemistry, we only use these five. So you do want to be familiar with these five base units in a question like, you might see a question like, what is the SI unit of temperature? The answer is Kelvin. What is the SI unit of mass? The answer to that is kilogram. What is the SI unit of length? The answer would be meter.